بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه ومن وله اللهم علمنا ما ينفعنا وانفعنا بما علمتنا وزدنا علما وأرنا الحق حقا ورزقنا اتباعه وأرنا الباطل باطلا ورزقنا اجتنابه وحشرنا في زمرة عبادك الصالحين أمين أمين We thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for all the blessings that he bestowed on us We thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for for uh, all these days that he gave us to fast we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he makes this 10 days days where he's going to save us from hellfire i mean ya rabbil alamin tonight is going to be our uh, 24th so 24th khatira of ramadan 2020 where i share with you a wisdom from one ayah from one juz so tonight is going to be Juz 24 and the surah that I've chosen, Surah Zumar, and the ayah is ayah 53. Surah Zumar, it's a surah Mecki, so which means it was revealed prior to the migration of the Prophet وسلم, to Medina. So it has uh, content on, uh, of the Tawheed and has a lot of discussion about the Yom Al-Qiyamah, the hereafter, and the outcome of the disbeliever and mushrikeen. Its name is named Zumar. So the word Zumar means a group. And it has, uh, this word is mentioned near the end of the surah, where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala discussed the, the two groups, one group going to Jannah, and one group going to Hellfire. And we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make us among the group, Let's go into Jannah, I mean, Rabbil Alameen. From a high level view, the Surah also has a lot of word uh, of sincerity, ikhlas. And uh, it's very dominant in the Surah. And it's urging us to be sincere in all our deeds. Uh, any deeds that we do for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala should be for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's pleasure only. So that's one of the uh, objectives of the Surah. So in general, like I said, the surah is it's it's really related to Tawheed, discuss the hereafter, it discuss the sincerity in great detail. <coughs> Our ayah of tonight, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Bada Udbilam Stanujim Kuriya ibadi and Ladina Asrafu ala and Fusihimla Takanatum Rahmatilah in Allah Yafir Dunuba Jamia in Nahu. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, O my servants who have transgressed against himself, <coughs> meaning they made a lot of sins. Do not despair of the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Do not lose hope of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's mercy. Indeed, Allah forgives all sins. Indeed, he is the most forgiven, the most merciful. So the, you can see through the translation how the ayah, it's about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he is uh, most forgiven, most merciful, is asking us to not lose hope regardless of the level of sins we've committed. So the ayah, it's about us reaching out to him and asking him for uh, repentance and realizing that he's going to forgive our sins. So the dua and repentance is part of our uh, believe a part of our Tawheed and therefore this ayah is truly connected to the the theme of the Surah of, uh, of which one of them was a uh, Tawheed um, Abdullah ibn Abbas may Allah be pleased with him says أنها أرجى آية في كتاب الله لأنها تعطي الأمل لكل مذنب مهما كانت دنوبه he said this ayah it is one of the ayah that has the greatest hope in Quran that because it, gave the, the, it gives the hope to every sinner, regardless uh, how, how, how much and how big his, uh, his sins. But this is a really important ayah, and I, I've chosen this ayah because it's where in the last 10 days, in the last 10 days where we're supposed to do a lot of repentance, ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for his mercy, for his forgiveness. And this is why I've chosen this ayah. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is, is telling Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Qul ya'i, Qul ya'i, tell him, because the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, 
is uh, you know he was sent to us as part of the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and so he brought the, this hope to us that regardless how many sins we've committed Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will forgive us and so um, and, and I want to share with you one of the hadiths, is, is famous hadith in uh, Sahih al-Bukhari and also in, in Sahih muslim where a man in Banu Israel uh, killed 99 person. He kills 99 person. Then he left, he's kind of, he was asking, uh, where can I get my repentance? Can I, do I have a chance for repentance? So he went and uh, talked to uh, Rahiban, it means uh, a monk. He asked the, the monk, uh, is there a chance for me to repent? And uh, the, the monk said, he said, no, you have no chance. You've killed 99 person, you have no chance. So they, they, this person here killed the monk and made him number 100. So now we have a person who killed 100 individuals. He started asking, where can I get my repentance? So فَقَالَ لَهُ رَجُلْ أَتِي قَرِيَةَ كَذَا وَكَذَا Go to a village, so-and-so, or over there, a village, where you can have a chance for repentance. Then on the way, he died. فَنَأَ بِصَدْرِهِ نَحْوَى On his way, he died, and his chest was facing the, the city or the village where he was planning, he made the intention to, to do a repentance. So he had the intention made that he's going to do repentance. It's important to note that. فَاخْتَصَمَتْ فِيهِ مَلَائِكَةُ الرَّحْمَةُ وَمَلَائِكَةُ الْعَذَابِ The two angels came up to, 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 to get him. So we have the mercy angels and we have the punishment mercy, uh, angels. The two angels start arguing. فَأَوْحَ اللَّهُ إِلَى هَذِهِ أَن تَقَرَّبِ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ask the village, the repentance village, to come close to him. وَأَوْحَ اللَّهُ إِلَى هَذِهِ أَن تَبَعَدِ He asked Allah subhanahu, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, ask the village where he committed the sin, where he was coming from, to stay away from him. وَقَالَ قِيسُوا مَا بَيْنَهُمَا Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala asked the two angels, measure between the two uh, villages. فَوَجَدَ إِلَى هَذِي أَقْرَبَ بِشِبْرِ then so the, the city, or the repentant city, it was much close to him than the city of, uh, of, the, uh, of the, where he came from, but just a few inches. So just the fact that he was so close to the city of the repentance, and a little farther by a few inches from the city of uh, where he commits sin, the Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave him a chance to forgive all his sins. One, because he repented, uh, he was he was on his way to repent, but he had the, the intention to do that. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, regardless, despite that he killed 100 individuals, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgives, forgives his sins. So this gives you how much the power of uh, Allah's mercy and, 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 how we, and, 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 and the fact that he's the most forgive, uh, forgiving uh, and, and the fact that we should not lose hope. Um, there's another example I want to share with you with re relating to the hypocrites. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Inna al-munafiqina fi darki al-asfali min al-nar wa lan tajida lahum nasira. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is talking about the hypocrites. How they will be in the lowest level of the hellfire. May Allah protect us from that. And you will find no helper for them. Imagine that. The hypocrite will be the lowest level of hellfire. But then he made exception, and he said, right after that, إِلَّا الَّذِينَ تَابُوا وَأَصْلَحُوا وَاَعْتَصَمُوا بِاللَّهِ وَأَخْلَصُوا دِينَهُمْ لِلَّهِ فَأُولَٰئِكَ مَعَ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ وَسَوْفَ يُؤْتِ اللَّهُ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ أَجْرًا عَظِيمًا He said, except those who repent and reform and hold on fast to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and dedicate their religion to Allah alone. These are with the believers. Allah will give the believers a great reward. So subhanAllah, even the hypocrites, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is giving them a chance. Now, there is big but, or I want to say the, the however, there is actually something I want to absolutely caution 
myself first and everybody else. This ayah that I just shared with you, قُلْ يَا عِبَادِي الَّذِينَ أَسْرَفُوا عَلَىٰ أَنفُسِمْ لَا تَقْنَاطِ مِنْ رَحْمَةِ اللَّهِ Tell my slave, the one who transgressed excessively, made excessive sins, don't lose hope on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In other words, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will forgive your sin and He's most, most merciful and most forgiver. That does not mean we just go and make sins and say, Ya Allah, His law is going to forgive our sin. That does not mean that. Scholar says, this, you have to look at the ayah that came after after this ayah. There has a lot of hope for everyone who commit any all the sins. Because this ayah came after that, listen what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling us. وَأَنِيبُوا إِلَىٰ رَبِّكُمْ وَأَسْلِمُوا لَهُ مِنْ قَبْلِ أَنْ يَأْتِيَكُمْ عَذَابُ مِنْ قَبْلِ أَنْ يَأْتِيَكُمْ الْعَذَابُ ثُمَّ لَا تُنْصَرُونَ He said, and return, mean repent to Allah, and submit to Him before the punishment comes upon you, and then you will have no help. Listen to this, I'm going to repeat this ayah. وَأَنِيبُوا إِلَىٰ رَبِّكُمْ وَأَسْلِمُ لَهُ مِنْ قَبْلِ أَنْ يَأْتِيَكُمُ الْعَذَابُ ثُمَّ لَا تُنْصَرُونَ And return means repent to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and submit to Him before the punishment comes upon you and then you will not be helped. That means you have to repent. Allah, even though you have all the sins you've committed, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala still have the door open. Don't lose hope. But in order to do that, you have to repent. You have to repent, return to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in order for, for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to forgive your sins. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in another, another ayah, very important ayah, where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Inform my slaves that I am the most forgiver, the most merciful. And indeed, my punishment is a severe punishment. So that so it's important that we balance this. Yes, with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, his door always open for us to, to, to repent and ask for forgiveness. But at the same time, he's expecting us to repent and try not to return back to the sins that we've committed. So what's the takeaway for tonight? The first one we've said, Surah uh, uh, Zumar, it urge us to, to be sincere in all our amal, in all our deed. That's the first one. We gotta do our amal, especially now we are in seclusion. Nobody's looking at us. So let's exercise that sincerity. Let's make sure we make our sincere our amal truly sincere. So sincerity is very important in all our amals, all our deeds. Number two. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is asking, urging us to make, to, to make a dua, especially in last, this last 10 days. Make a dua, repent to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and have a hope that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will forgive our sins, and don't lose hope on His mercy. And then number three, we should not use this ayah, this, ayah, this beautiful greatest ayah in Quran, as an, as an excuse to deliberately commit sin. That is not what the intent of this ayah. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he accepts from us, they give us the ability to understand Quran and practice it as it deserves. As I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they he uh, save us from hellfire. I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he forgive all our sins, what we know and what we don't know. I mean, I mean, Ya Rabbil Alameen. Subhanakallah wa bihamdik. Ashhadu an la ilaha illa anta astaghfiruka wa atubu ilaik. Jazakumullah khair. Assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullah.